Hello, 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 country people, my country people. Things are happening. Things are happening in this country. Yes, so to think that we are still on this issue of Lagos is a no man's land is becoming alarming. Because now, hey, they don't tell Lagos people, they don't talk and say, everybody, if you know that you'll be able, will you carry your load and go back to your land? Hmm. Carry your load and go back to your land. My people, this is the second time this thing is about to happen. There are many times for the opting time in this country where they go pursue Igbo people go back to their land. My people, what is happening? What is happening? And a lot of people will be asking. Because this will not be now we start to hear some people go talk. So even during election, they saw what was happening. They did this one. Even this boy, this man, sorry, we're supposed to be, uh, we're, sorry, we're still one, we're still contest for governor. He contested for governorship. Yes, in Lagos, they said Balibo uh, Road Revival. Yes, that guy. They said it, he, the reason why he was not voted, the reason why he did not win was because he was part um, Igbo and part Yoruba. And they were afraid that this one, that Igbo people are already saying that um, Lagos is a no man's land. What will happen if road revival if he becomes the governor my people my people some people went ahead and said that it was because of him um, of him um, uh, at our president right now tinubu is a yoruba and that was what qualified him to be a president of this uh, great nation my dear people things are happening we don't even know what is going to happen in the next 72 hours that they said they have given to the Igbos to vermouth lagos this is serious this is becoming serious the pressure is getting worse the pressure is getting worse my lovely people the pressure is getting worse and this is no longer a joking issue. And this uh, uh, matter of Lagos is a no man's land. I want us to put it in the comment section. How do we see this issue? What exactly do we translate it to be? How do we see it to be this leg? Because I'm going to play some videos for you. When Mr. Obasi came out to say some things, yes, he said some things. And a lot of people, other came out to talk about these things. And you cannot say that. Some said you cannot say Lagos is a no man's land because it's the Yoruba people's land. It's in the southwest. Is this, is that. Everybody should go back to where they came from. The Igbos should go. You cannot go to Kano and say that okay, Kano is a no man's land just because you went there and you are prospering in the land. Is it your land? And they say they don't even blame a lot of uh, uh, the people, that they blame the, the, the people living in Lagos. The, the indigents, because they are the ones selling land to foreigners, selling properties to foreigners, that is making problems happen now in the, uh, what do they call it? In the, in the, making problems happen in the country. I'm going to leave a video with you people so that you will, you will also uh, listen. It's more like an audio. Listen to different people talk about this particular issue. The ones that said they are indigents of Lagos, that means they came from Lagos. They originated from Lagos. But people are still telling them that it's a lie. It's some uh, foreigners that came and then they forgot where they came from. You know, different, different, my people make a single thing on a thing. Let me see what you think on this issue. Yes, my lovely people. I'm going to play the audio for you people to see, to listen to, so that you will understand what I am saying. Lagos is a Yoruba land. As against assertion of some people that it is no more land. Therefore, part of our legislative agenda is to ensure that the translation of laws passed by this house to Yoruba language. We also aim at achieving our collective goals of creating a robust legal, sorry, legislative framework that protects the interests of our people. Going forward in this way, we are going to employ all legislative instruments to support to, for the support of the indigenous of Lagos State. Did Mudashu uh, of Lhasa consider it necessary to reopen that matter? This is the point. He had That's been why? chosen by his colleagues for a third term as speaker. You know, he should just thank them and talk like, uh, you know, somebody is interested in the 
in the national interest, in public interest, not to talk for, as a provincial person, dredging up uh, anti diluvian sentiments. Uh, Lagos uh, belongs to Yoruba. Lagos is a no man's land. I thought that argument was uh, part of the politics. You should not use the platform of the House of Assembly to play politics. That's not leadership. And this is what we say to public officials all the time. If you don't have something to say, something that will uh, appeal, appeal to reasonable right thinking members of society, can you just shut up? Because you can't on your own just sit in the House of Assembly and say we are removing your property rights. Section 42 says you cannot be discriminated against in this country on the basis of your ethnicity, religion, or anything. The law of France are discrimination. The threat to reverse whatever is irreversible because you are not a Yoruba person or you are not from Lagos, uh, that is uh, discriminatory. Land Use Act, which vests section one of which vests ownership of land in the governor as a trustee, did not say if the governor of Lagos State is going to uh, give out land, he should do so only to people of, uh, of Lagos State or to only Yorubas. That uh, section one is very clear. It says, on Nigerians, in any part of Nigeria. So I'm surprised because I understand that Mr. Obasa, you know, is a lawyer. So maybe he's just playing to the gallery. But this kind of thing can cause conflict, can cause disorder, are enforceable. See, for any on the notes of where I'm from, because I'm <laughs> proudly from Lagos State, yes. from Lagos you Island. You're true Lagosian, though. You're not like some people. I'm little. You mean you are an indigenous? You are an indigenous. Indigen. Tell them. But then let's begin not. to define an indigenous. Because when we look at Lagos State, hmm. it's such a cosmopolitan city, and we've had people who've settled. In fact, some people would still challenge my indigenous, you know, my, my being an indigenous, saying that if you trace back to centuries ago, we came from Sierra Leone and then we settled. So at the end of the day, I, I, I understand where people are a bit, you know, to take offense with Lagos's no man's land. But then, the, aside from the legal aspect which Dr. Bati has just dealt you know, excellently with, as always, is the fact that how do you begin to define who is an indigent? How do you begin to, is it for how many years? How do you begin to separate people? Maybe, I mean, my mom is from Edo State. So would you say that I'm half an indigent, so I don't have as much access? Then is it just for Lagosians or for people from the southwest, western part of Nigeria? Because if you look in the house, you would see that it's spread across different people who've come into Lagos to settle. One of the things about Lagos State as a center of excellence is the fact that people from around the world can come here and thrive and excel and they contribute to the prosperity of Lagos State. Yes, Lagos is a no man's land, but the excellence and who built Lagos is not just indigents. The people who've come around from around different parts of Nigeria have come in and they've invested in Lagos State to make it what it is. We yes. must be truthful about that. All right. That is it, my people. That is it, you have heard. I want us to talk about this issue. And let's settle this issue once and for all. Who really, really, really owns Lagos? And why is this thing causing a lot, lot of issues? Because people are saying that, in fact, this disagreement is a lot. That it has affected us during election. During, In fact, it is too much. It is too much. At this point, me, I feel like maybe everybody should go to their place and go and dominate in their place. You can also make it in your own village where you are. Just that people have seen Lagos as where you come and then you do something and before you know it, you have made it. And they made it to be everybody's land. Anyways, any, uh, my people, that's how it is. Let's see what you think on this issue. I'll see you in my next